She has a really bad high arched foot and needs an orthotic. Dr. Carter here at Lexington Podiatry and this young lady has some calluses on her feet. It just goes to show you, you don't have to be a little old lady or man to get calluses. A lot of times people stand on their feet all day and the constant pressure, especially on hard surfaces, causes calluses from pressure points and orthotics can help to correct that, but sometimes it doesn't make it all go away. So let's try to trim them. All right, so here she is. This is the fifth metatarsal head area, and it's a really prominent area to get a callus, especially if you have a high arched foot that kind of rolls out. And this young lady does, she actually has a really bad high arched foot and needs an orthotic. Um, she just switched jobs and is standing on her feet a lot more than normal, so hopefully we'll be able to get her into one. Her she puts lotion on her feet every day, and that does help. It's making the callus a lot softer to trim, and it just kind of peels away. When you start to see that rebound, when I push, it turns white. When I let go, it turns pink. That kind of means we're at the stopping point. That's one of the most common questions I get asked is, how do you know how far to go? And it's different with everybody, but in young, healthy skin, that's how. All right, one down, one to go. You want to come on around. Perfect. This one's a little bit worse, and that corresponds to the arch in her foot. I feel like this is your bad foot, correct? For those of you who could not hear her head shake, she did say yes. I'm surprised this doesn't hurt. <laughs> right. The skin is dead, realistically. It's your body tries to protect itself by making the skin hard so it doesn't feel anything. Well, it doesn't get that the hard skin actually hurts too. So your body is trying to protect itself and it just doesn't work the way that it should. Good question. A good statement. I was getting sharp pains there, but thought it was the bone and not just skin. Right, and when the skin builds up, there is a lot of pressure that forms underneath it and it can actually pinch a nerve. Um, that can feel like your foot is broken, it can feel like you're walking on something, or that sharp shooting pain that even goes into your toe. So that can happen, especially if you're walking on like hardwood floors or tile floors or you go barefoot a lot on any surface. Um, people also ask me, you know, what do I wear in the house? Should I wear a flip flop? And Flip-flops are not ideal for a lot of things, but it's really better than nothing. In a foot like this, if you have some cushioning between you and the ground, then that's what really counts. Now, grant you, I'd love you to wear your shoes and inserts in the house, but a lot of people have rules with no shoes in the house, and after a hard day at work when your feet are hot and sweaty and tired, you don't want to leave your shoes on, so I get it. Perfect. I always make sure the edges are kind of smoothed off a bit. You don't want her to have anything jagged on there. Perfect. So there's a nice little callus trim in a young lady. She will now be able to maintain that with using a pumice stone and some lotion at home. And when it gets to the point that she can't handle it anymore, she'll be back. Have a great day, guys.